in my ah! <laughs> all right burn burn number one of the day like everything i'm doing everything like it's solely on me so and i didn't come on here to talk about to say that i'm doing most of the work Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Taylor Renee and I'm coming back with a new video. I hope this lighting is good and y'all can see what's going on with my hair. So I am going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. So let's go ahead and get into the video. If you're new to this channel, what's good? What's popping? It's your girl Taylor and I'm doing a updated life update, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So I'm doing a reel at the same time. My reels have been doing really good on Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram, check out the description box and follow your girl. Um. So yeah, I'm also doing a reel. So if I look over here, that's why I look a mess. Excuse this. So I'm working on freshly washed and conditioned hair. And this hair is from my hair collection. So, if y'all want to shop, um, the website is $45 off of everything on the website, including bundles, wigs, and downloadable products, downloadable media. So, I have lots of things on the website. Check it out. This is our raw straight bundles. And yes, the sale is doing really, really good right now. So, I just appreciate everybody who's been shopping on my website period so while i talk to you guys i'm gonna be first i'm gonna be clipping half of my hair up so we can start curling i want to go ahead and get this shit curled yeah all right Okay, so first I'm going to take some of this heat protecting spray, spray it on my hands a little bit, rub it on the hair. Okay, so for the video, for today, I'm going to be using my, um, what is this? My Hot Tools Professional. I think this is a one and a half inch barrel, so it's a pretty big barrel. So my curls, I don't want them to be super tight, but I don't want them to be loose either. So this is the perfect barrel for that. And y'all know how to curl hair. Like, come on, guys. If you don't know how to curl hair, I can show you this first little time, okay? All you want to do is keep it sitting there about five seconds. And then go down a little bit more. And just keep doing this, okay? Y'all get the picture. Y'all get the points. Y'all get the deal, okay? So I'm going to talk to y'all just for a little bit because I know y'all miss me. Y'all miss me? <laughs> Alright. I'm stalling. I'm so very much stalling. Okay, so I'm going to just let y'all on on how I be feeling in my... Ah! <laughs> Alright, burn, burn number one of the day. The fuck? Alright. So basically, I'm going to be letting y'all in today on how I've been feeling recently about like my life and shit. Basically, and I'm going to try not to curse for real. So I'm going okay, so to just start off by saying this. This is solely like I'm going to be speaking basically on how I feel my emotions how like my life my life update like this how i feel you know and it's this doesn't have anything to do with anyone else it's solely just how i feel you know and how my life is going you know um at this point in time um so i am a single mom 
I have a two-year-old, if you don't know. Um, she turned two last September. And me and her dad are not together. So, I've been doing this shit, this thing, sorry. I've been, um, being a mama. It's real ghetto. Like, this is real ghetto to me that, um, that I'm doing this by myself. And when I say by myself, I mean cooking, cleaning, washing, um, what else? Getting her dressed, getting her bathed, um, talking to her, playing with her, um, changing her diaper, um, like everything. I'm doing everything. Like, it's solely on me. So, like, I look... Like, last night I was just thinking, right? And I looked up the definition of um, what is a single mom because a single mother. So, last night when I looked the information up, the <laughs> basically not what I actually thought it was. So, when I looked up the definition, it was saying something like, um, basically, you're taking care of your child on your own. So, basically, you don't have help. Not, not that you don't have help. That you're doing it all by yourself. So, the daily activities of taking care of a child is solely on one parent. So basically, a single mom is if you're not with that father, um, then technically you're a single mom. So at first, I thought a single mom was um, if that person isn't helping you take care of your child. And in my case, that's not the case, but also I'm primarily doing most of the work. So, and I didn't come on here to talk about, to say that I'm doing most of the work. Because, um, sometimes that's just how it goes when, um, like, you're not with that person anymore. If y'all don't have, like, joint custody or, like, um, he's not with her one week, you're not, she's not with you one week. Um, then you're ultimately going to be taking care of the child most of the time if that's not the case. So in my case, I have her every day of the week, um, every week, like I have her every day. And basically what I want this video to be about is that I'm okay with that, I've accepted that, but I'm not going to say that it's easy, and I'm not um, going to say that um, I'm okay with how that came out in the end. Like, I feel like um, when you hear the term, like, single mom and stuff, people ultimately, like, men or even women ultimately think that the baby mama is um, bitter, and she's going to hate that father for not being there. And I feel like that is kind of true in some sense. I'm not bitter, but I do um, have, what is it, like some kind of um, issue that um, I'm doing it by myself. And um, I just want like people, like my subscribers, I just want to talk about it with y'all because... Sometimes that be the reason why why I can't um, post videos and stuff because I'm still trying to juggle um, with the fact that I um, I have to take care of her 24/7. So I'm still juggling because I be so tired and I'm trying to get myself out of being so tired. And while I am tired, to still make a video. Like regardless if I'm dead tired to the world. I still have to get my ass up and make a video. So I'm trying to um, learn how to incorporate that into my everyday, you know, situation. So, you know, I don't like the fact that um, I can't um, just go to him 
her father and just be like, hey, I need you to watch her because he's not here, you know? So I have to really just do it on my own regardless of if I'm tired or not. It's my responsibility to make sure that she's well taken care of. So it's very... I just said a lot. I just said a lot, y'all. It, it's, it's very hard to juggle the two and have a business and trying to figure out what to do with my business. Like, I had to create content for my business, too. You know, so... Um... It just be hard because, like, I don't like doing this by myself. I hate it. I hate it. I hate that I have to bathe her every day by myself and um, that I have to go through this. Because, you know, that's not what people, you know, that's not what you be wanting. You be wanting to have family and stuff. But when it doesn't work out, um, it be hard. It's, it be real hard. It'd be real hard and basically I just came on the camera to say that this is not easy and I'm pretty sure y'all know that even if you don't have a child I'm pretty sure you know that it's hard to take care of a child by yourself anybody would know that you know but dang like you don't be realizing all the emotions um they be coming with it too like you don't be thinking like it's gonna be as hard as um it is um because like you know i don't want to be with that person so i have no choice but to be on this journey of it being hard you know like i have no choice but to do this you know what i'm saying like it's no other outcome for me like, this is the outcome. And I have to adjust to that. And it's taking me longer than expected to adjust to this. But it is what it is. I'm not tripping off of it. But I am tripping off how hard it is. I'm definitely tripping off how hard it is. But I don't really tell people my issues. I don't tell people my problems or nothing. I just go with the flow. And then if I want to talk about it on here, I talk about it. And I'm not asking for nobody's opinion. I'm not asking for nobody's sorrow. I don't want y'all to be like, oh, it's going to be okay. Like, I understand. And it's okay for you to say that. But I didn't come on here to do for you guys to be sad for me, mad for me, happy for me, don't care. Like, you know, I, I just came on here just to talk, speak my mind. Because that's what I do and that's what I can do. So therefore, all this, all this do for me is show me how strong I am as a woman and, um, and provided for my child. It just show me that I am able, you know, I, she, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even be still attempting to even do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is the reason that I'm continuing on. And haven't haven't given up on stuff. I thought I was recording. Like if it wasn't for her, I don't know what I would be doing. I just don't know, y'all. And I just be going every day trying to um forgive myself like i be trying to forgive myself and let myself know that um i'm doing good you know like i'm i'm doing good and like in trying to make myself believe and um make myself know that you know everything that i want can still happen and also i've been basically doing so so well with you know making sure of everything i just said um that i have been being more proactive and i have been like being um more proactive like with my business and stuff like making sure i do content and stuff and i love doing content content is fun and everything Especially the editing part, but just actually finding the time to do it is my issue. 
So yeah, I'm going to finish curling this and then I'm going to be right back with y'all. Okay, so I'm about to take out this and head out because I do have to leave. It's time to shave that mustache. Okay. And I have this towel on in case you think I'm naked. Okay, so basically this is the end of the video. Alright, so this is going to be the end of the video. I thank y'all for watching the video, tuning in with me, talking with me. That bump hurt so bad. <sighs> I just wanted to end the video on a good note. I did not... um record at the end because i started rushing out of the house because my daughter had a doctor's appointment so that's why i'm ending the video like this real crusty real time is gonna be so i just want to thank y'all for watching the video and another thing before i end this video i just finished watching someone else's video and she did um kind of put something in my mind um so i talk about in this video i talk about how I go through struggles of being a single mom, like doing everything on my own. Now, I do take accountability for having my situation like that because ultimately this is something that I chose to do on my own. Um, it was my decision for it to be like this. So I do take accountability um, for why it's like this, but also i still have issues regarding the situation at hand so regardless of me having to deal with this on my own me choosing this um route to take for me and my child's life i don't necessarily like it um it's very much ghetto like i said in the video is is very much like nothing i ever wanted for my life because i had a two parents household uno dos never was um you know raised um in a one person like one parent household so this is all new for me and this is something that um it's definitely tough it's not hard whatsoever because i didn't have to go through this and it really sucks that she has to but it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't i'ma do what i gotta do at the end of the day and thank you for watching this video today i love y'all we out